I've been taking my content creation so seriously and with that has come imposter syndrome. Like, I'm literally living the life that I prayed for and then now that I'm in it, I'm like, why did I deserve this? What's up y'all? Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video on my growth creating series, growth series as a creator. You guys, I am feeling a lot better than I have been feeling and we're gonna get into that. So actually I'm gonna grab some tea right now. I'm gonna set you guys up upstairs and we are going to chat, okay? We're gonna talk imposter syndrome. We are going to talk the struggles of an upcoming YouTube creator and all the things that come with it and tips on how to kind of work through those things and keep showing up for your subscribers. So let's do it. What's up babes and welcome back to another video of a growing content creator. I want this video to be full of transparency because I have been hitting some YouTube creative roadblocks you guys and that's all a part of this journey right so that's why I wanted to get on camera and film for you guys because I'm sure for anyone starting their YouTube journey or really any content creation at all like you're gonna run into imposter syndrome and you're gonna run into things that are holding you back but the key is to keep going to keep working to keep learning and growing because that's how we get to the top and we just got started you already know we're just getting started most of you guys have been with me since I had a hundred subscribers and now we are we're a little bit over 6,000 and that just like I feel so absolutely blessed and with that has come like a bit of perfectionism I guess you could say like I'm a lot harder on myself when it comes to editing videos and I just feel like everything needs to be perfect when in fact just showing up as I am is good enough, right? I've been taking my content creation so seriously and with that has come imposter syndrome. Like, I'm literally living the life that I prayed for and then now that I'm in it, I'm like, why did I deserve this, you know? So as I'm growing and learning, I haven't really given myself the space to make mistakes. Like, I've just been really hard on myself and let me give you a specific example. Two weeks ago, I created, a three weeks ago now actually, I was editing a vlog, I was learning the Adobe interface, and it took me two weeks just to like get to a place where I felt comfortable uploading the video, and still the video did not come out the way I wanted it to. However, I uploaded the video still, even knowing that I didn't love it, and then ended up having to delete it anyway. And this was all because of like, I had to keep remain with the consistency of the algorithm, and I was trying to do a lot of things and show up and just, it just, none of it was right, okay? So, I had to take that for what it is and know that this is a part of my journey. And first off, I want you guys to know that as well. Like, it's all a journey. Like, we all make mistakes no matter where we are in our growth process. But that it's okay, right? Like, it's okay to take some time to learn an interface. It's okay to make mistakes and things for not to be okay because that just gives you the opportunity to learn more and grow more right so even though i deleted that vlog i have taken the time to really study it like what didn't i like about it what wasn't good enough for the youtube platform and for you guys as my subscribers and i've came down to three things the first question is what service do i want to provide the second question is what haven't i delivered on and the third question is how can i avoid this imposter feeling and show up for my subscribers okay so definitely get out your journal and write these questions down and then go through and answering them to answer the question about what service do i want to provide i want to provide informative visually entertaining videos and so by informative that means like i'm going into detail about like say i'm out to dinner and i'm recommending this place like exactly how the food tastes, the prices, everything, so you know what to expect if you're gonna go to this place. I want to provide those details for you guys so there's no guessing, right? Secondly, what haven't I delivered on? Uh, one thing that I haven't delivered on and that I can improve on are my transitions. I really want to provide better, smoother transitions because that just makes the visually entertaining part of the video that much better but also like keeping audience retention right like if i can't if i have messy vlogs then girl what is the deal no we're showing up because you guys are putting your time into me so i have to give that time back right so that requires me to take courses and to take the extra time out of my day to watch tutorials on how to edit better transitions no matter what interface the software that i'm using lastly how can i avoid this feeling of imposter syndrome right so that i can properly show up for you guys 
so this was like my main focus this was like the question that like stemmed from all of the creative funk that I was in like imposter syndrome I really got down to the bottom of where that imposter syndrome was coming from and not only was I being really hard on myself, but I want my platform to be less about me and more about you as the viewer. And as I'm saying that, you know, of course, I'm on camera and I'm relaying all this information and giving you guys content. However, I want to add value to you guys. If you guys want to watch my videos, I want you to know that in every single video, you're going to get gain some insight or value that I hope is beneficial and adds to what I believe your God's dream of life could be, right? And to combat that imposter syndrome, I found that the key source is literally gratitude, you guys. Gratitude will bring you back into the present moment and know that where you're at in this moment is exactly where you're meant to be. I think that the imposter syndrome, that doesn't belong to me, right? Like that's just thoughts in my head of like where I'm at. And it's also difficult because on social media I want to be a certain person however everyone that follows me all has different versions of me in their head and who I am now in this moment is this woman this YouTube content creator that is an author an owner collaborator a woman that wants to add value to people every single day and that is who I am and that's how I'm gonna so that is how I truly combat my imposter syndrome is simply gratitude you guys I literally wrote down gratitude after I went through like this whole moment and I'll read you guys a few you know, my passion for creation is being fulfilled. I'm touching an audience. I'm grateful that I'm growing with my subscribers. This playlist and this series is like so incredible for me because you guys can see all of my growth. I have the ability to do what I love, right? Like, it's after work, the sun is setting, I'm in a beautiful city, and I am on camera talking to you guys, really enjoying the fact that like, I can create content for you, right? learning through my mistakes i am grateful that i'm learning through my mistakes so yeah it took me three weeks to upload this video a new video however i learned that i can't be so hard on myself i learned that this is a journey and a process that is going to come with like hardships but it's all worth it in the end the journey is the best part because of the reward you know what i mean so when i get there i can know and look back on the fact that i learned through all of these mistakes and i learned through what I learned. And lastly, I'm grateful that I'm not taking no as an answer. I don't really like to take no as an answer from anyone else, but I'm not taking no for myself. Like, I think that that time, that break that I had and that funk that I had brought me to where I am in terms of like knowing that I need to create for you guys, but also, ooh, girl, my lash. But also, I'm not gonna tell myself, no, I'm not gonna film a video this week because I don't feel this way. Like, I've experienced that and that didn't fulfill me either. So now I know that I need to show up for you guys no matter what and that's just where i'm at now as a creator i'm realizing that i want to do this full time you guys know that i have a nine to five and i love doing both however i love the autonomy of being my own of working for myself and being a creator and adding value to everyone else on a daily basis so with that being said i had to sacrifice a few things you know i had to really allocate my time better i use google calendar and i had to set those priorities right for me my priorities right now are going to the gym, getting in a breathing exercise, meditation, um, hitting my macros, so that requires me to meal prep and that's extra time out of the day. Also showing up as the best employee I can for my nine to five, and then creating content. Also, your girl created a TikTok, so go ahead and follow me on TikTok, girl. I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but that's okay. Um, my goal is to upload a TikTok reel in short once a week. I wanna do more and we'll get there, but for now, I'm going to upload once a week. So I have the same name, at Siamata Ariel, on all my platforms, so go ahead and follow me if you guys don't already. But I hope that this video was informative, right? Like, I want to be transparent on the fact that YouTube's not easy and growing and trying sustaining and cultivating and messing like and working with the algorithm none of it is easy and it takes time and learning so take be easy on yourself because I had to learn to be easy on myself and just keep going keep growing what you have to offer is so much more than like what's in your head that imposter that has nothing to do with anything okay so as always, I love you guys. I really enjoyed filming this video. If you guys like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions, always comment down below. You guys have my email in the description box. And then, as always, we're just getting started. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys as always, and I will see you in the next one.